For block number 14, we're going to test out our y seam skills. Do you like sewing y seams? Or do you not like sewing y seams? Well, this block is using y seams. If you don't like y seams, you should still give this a try because actually they're not so hard. It just takes a little bit of patience and a little bit of time. So in this video, I do show you some tips and tricks on sewing a Y seam, and I hope that I make it a little bit easier and take some of the mystery out of sewing Y seams for you. And we end up creating a pretty black. All right, let's get started. Okay, for black number 14, I've got this navy print here. I've also got this print here. It looks like it's just a solid, but I don't know if you can see this, but it's actually tiny little floral prints that are on this one. Then of course I got my background fabric here. All right, to cut these, it's pretty simple. I've cut, I've just layered fabric A and B on top of each other, and I did cut to get a clean edge. Now you really only need six one and a half inch by eight and a half inch strips from each of these, but I'm just going to cut the length of the layer cake just to make it a little bit easier. But if you're not using layer cake squares, all you really need is to go to that eight and a half inch length. All right, so I've got all of my strips cut. I'll just set those aside for now. And you also need, for the background fabric, you need four three and a half inch squares, which I've already cut. And then you need a seven and a quarter inch square, which we're gonna cut into four triangles. So I'm just gonna carefully lay my ruler on here and make sure I have my line lined up here on the edge. And go once down one diagonal center and turn it and using my ruler 45 guide to make sure I've got in the right spot. I'm just gonna carefully line it up from corner to corner and then cut the other one. So then I'm gonna have four triangles. And now that I've got these cut, I'm just gonna arrange these in two different sets. One set's gonna have two whites, one blue. And the other set's going to have two blues, one white. You need two in each set. Now this part's really important for getting the maximum out of your strips, otherwise you might end up short. We're going to offset these sets by one inch. And one of the sets, the one with the two blues, is going to go bottom left to right on the offset. So you should have a 45 degree angle on both sides here, going towards the right. For the other set, it's going to be the opposite. So we're going to have the angle going from bottom right to upper left on these other sets. And when I sew these together, I'm going to take my first, my top strip here on this one. I'm going to make sure it's one inch over, right sides together. It will be long on this side and that's okay. And then I'm going to sew a quarter inch along this line and then I'm going to press this with the seams open and then attach this top one one inch over from the white and sew again. So I'll go sew this and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so I've got one inch started on the blue and then I'm going to start the white and I'm just going to do a quarter inch down. And I'm just stopping where I know that blue fabric has ended. Okay, so I've got this sewn and I just pressed the seams open. And now just like I did before, I'm going to take this next top piece, go over an inch, and just lay it right sides together on top of this middle piece here. Okay, so I've got that top piece sewn on, and again, press the seams open, and I'm going to repeat that for this set here. Now for this other set, just the opposite. So I'm going to start from the right, measure over an inch, line up that middle piece so it's an inch away from the edge here, and then I'm going to sew a quarter inch on the top here. All right, so I got one of each sets complete, and you can see they're just going in opposite 45 degree directions here. Now I'm going to go repeat that for these other two sets, and then I'll show you what we do next. 
All right, the next step is we're gonna cut this at a diagonal so we can create our star from it. So it's really helpful if you have a quilter's ruler with a 45 degree mark on it. And then we're gonna use that 45 degree mark so it lines up on the bottom of your strip set and we're gonna get a clean cut to start with. And I wanna get it as close to these edges as I can just to make sure I'm maximizing the strips. That way we don't have as much waste or we don't end up short. Now that we have that cut done, this part's a little bit easier because we're gonna cut these then in two and a half inches in width. So I'm just lining up my ruler. I'm at the two and a half inch mark on this edge that I just cut. And I'm just gonna cut one and then two from each of these sets. And because I use the 10 inch, the entire 10 inch of the layer cake, I'll have a little bit more, but you should have just a little bit left if you're using the eight and a half inch strips. And same with the other two blue sets. Get a clean cut with that 45 degree mark. Going as close as I can to the top here. And then cut two two and a half inch sections. Okay. Now with the other side, it's just going to be going the other direction. All the way you stagger these pieces to help know what 45 degree direction to go in. Again, I'm using my ruler guide. Going as close to this edge here. And then I'm going to cut the clean side first. And then just like the other one, I'm going to cut this in two and a half inch sections. Okay, now we can start to assemble this block. Let me just bring back the test one to show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually put the star in the center together first, and then we're gonna do Y seams to join these other pieces to it. So on this one, we just wanna put one of the two whites next to one of the two blues. And we're just gonna repeat that until we have our star shape. Now to sew these together, we just need to make sure we're really cautious and we stop a quarter inch from where we're gonna be adding the white fabric. So if I lay my white fabric out here, so every place you see where it's gonna join the background fabric, we need to make sure when we're sewing these two pieces that we stop a quarter inch from the edge here. All right, so I'm just gonna take these two sections here, line them up, and then I'm gonna sew from the edge here quarter inch along here, and then I'm gonna stop a quarter inch from this point here. All right, to help me out, I'm just gonna make sure that I know where that quarter inch mark is. I'm gonna go once from this side, a quarter inch, and then I'm just gonna go a quarter inch from this side here. And that creates a little bit of a X. And at that point, that's where I'm gonna stop sewing. There are some tools out there that help with this. For instance, this diamond degree. It's not the exact diamond that I'm working with, but it's actually really helpful when they have these little holes. You can also use that to put your mark as well. All right, so I have my mark on there. You could put a pin in that spot too, just to make sure you know where it, where it is. I think I will do that. All right, I'm gonna just put a pin right there so I don't miss it and over so. And then I'm just gonna sew a quarter inch along the seam here. I'm just gonna go really slow until I get to this point, just so I don't overdo it. And I stopped right on there. And then I'm gonna actually back stitch a, a few. And back stitching a few is just making sure that when I go to my Y seam, this doesn't start to fall apart. And then I'm gonna Got my strings. And you notice we got a little bit of an opening right here at the top. We should have a quarter inch opening. All right, so I've got this first piece done. I'm just gonna iron the seams open 
And then I'm just going to keep doing that by putting these two sections together. And then I'll come back and show you what we do next. Alright, so I've got these other ones sewn together. And you can see how pressing the seams open make it lie real nice. And now I need to sew all four of these together to create our star. And just like before, once I put these together, I want to know where that quarter inch point is because I'm going to need to stop right at that quarter inch. I think I might sew from this side just so it's a little bit easier for me to see my point. Again, I'm just going to measure a quarter inch from one side and then a quarter inch from the other. All right, and that's the point I'm going to need to stop sewing from. And I'm going to actually be sewing this on the short side here. So I'm going to start at the corner and then I'll stop right here and I'll put that pin in place. Okay, so I'm actually going to start at that spot and just lower my needle by hand, make sure I've got it in the point, and I do. I'm going to go, since I'm starting from the point, that's a quarter inch away. I'm going to go a few stitches and then I'm going to go back a few. And then I'm just going to finish down the rest of the length. I do find it's, hard, it's, it's beneficial if you try to hold down all of your seams because there's going to be a lot of seams when the star is all done. And just like before, I'll iron that seam open. Then I'm going to repeat that with this other side here as well. Again, I'm going to find my quarter inch mark. Then I'll sew this one together. Okay, I've got two sides done. And now, if you wanted to, you could clip off the little dog ears here. Just going to do it freehand here, just to get rid of a little bit of the bulk. And then we're going to sew these two together, just making sure you're lining up that middle seam. I'm going to put a pin to hold this in place right at that seam. And then just like before, I need to stop a quarter inch, this time on both sides of the side here. So I'm going to mark a quarter inch here and then a quarter inch here. It was a little hard to see, so I'm just going to make sure I have a pin right in that spot. Okay, then I am going to sew a quarter inch between those two spots. Again, when I'm doing this, I am putting a few of those back stitches in. And at the end, repeat that back stitching a few as well. Okay, I've got the star sewn together. And now we need to do the Y seams. So let's start here on this top one here. I'm just going to fold this in half and I'm actually, I'm going to take this back and just press this quick just so it lies really nice and flat. Okay, so Y seams can be tricky, but if you take your time and make sure that you have the right seams, they're not so bad. So first on the wrong side of this, I'm going to just put a quarter inch mark on the corner. Just so we know where that start and stop mark is. Just like on the other ones. I did it on the wrong side so that when I flip it together, it'll be showing. And I'm going to fold this top piece down. See where that mark is? And I'm going to fold it right like that. And I'm just going to press it with my fingers. You don't need to crease it or anything. And then this top piece, I'm going to put right sides together, line it up with the edge here. Your triangle essentially that you cut earlier should lay over the top of this, this edge here. All two sides here should match up pretty well. So then this first part I'm going to sew and I'm going to start right at the dot making sure I'm not sewing on this flap here. And then I'm going to do a quarter inch and go all the way to the edge here. I am going to do a few back stitches once I start at this point as well. Let me just put pin in place and then I'm going to sew it. I'm going to manually put the needle down to make sure I'm not on that other piece. Stitch a few and back stitch a few. 
And then I'm going to go right down that edge. Okay, now, see where the side's sewn on? Just kind of rotate and flip down. So I have my open side here. So I've got this folded. Here's that part I just sewn. And then I'm going to just make sure my pieces are still lined up. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sew a quarter inch and I'm going to stop right at that mark that I made earlier. Okay, once I get to that mark, back stitch a few. And we're done with that one. All right, so now I've got that first piece sewn on. You can see how that Y seam turned out pretty nice. I'm just going to press it quick just so it lies a little flatter, and then we'll go into the next one. Okay, now for the square. So I know this is my corner, so I'm going to flip that, and I'm going to put that quarter inch mark on the wrong side of the fabric in that corner that's going to meet up with the Y seam. And same thing that we did before. We're going to carefully fold this together. You can press this if you'd like. And then at the quarter inch gap that we have that we left from before when we sewed this side on, fold that down. And then right sides together. We're going to place this square. And the two sides then should line up with the two sides of that star. Hopefully you can see that okay. This is a little, it's a little complicated. And then just like before, I'm going to put a pin right in that spot. And I want to make sure that I stop sewing there so I don't sew over the seam from this other piece. All right, let's go do that one. Okay, again, I'm going to stop at that mark, making sure I'm not going over the seam. And I'm going to back stitch a few. All right, so as I'm sewing the other one, I realized you probably can't see what I'm doing. Um, so I wanted to bring this back here. I've sewn one side down to the point and did my back stitch. And now to sew the other side, I'm just going to grab this bottom piece here. And I'm just kind of flipping the whole piece, folding that top that I've just sewed or sewn. And I'm just kind of reflatten it out. And I'm going to do the same thing on this opposite side here, starting up here and stopping at the mark I made earlier. And so that's how you sew the square on. So two Y seams are done. I'm going to keep continuing here. You may find it easier when you're doing one side, since you've got this all nice and flat, to go ahead and do the opposite side. I probably will do that as I finish this whole star. So I'm going to continue with that and then I'm going to come back and just show you what the star looks like when it's all done. And there is the finished block 14. This one was a little tricky with those Y seams, but hopefully you stuck with it and you gave it a try. Because I think with a little bit of patience and just taking your time, these can work out just fine. And if you're curious about the seams, I did press all of them open on the back. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day.